Hey folks, uh, I'm going to discuss in this lesson uh, some of the techniques I used in the song called Jaboom. Uh, it's kind of a up-tempo uh, sort of a rock blues progression, which is very unlike me. But uh, I do play blues occasionally in the privacy of my own home when nobody's listening. <laughs> but what it is is this concept of pulling, pulling off uh, these notes. And um, whenever, I, uh, whenever I'm working on something, as I mentioned before, I, I break it down into small pieces and I make exercises out of every little piece. And if you listen to that track, it's got a head that goes... <laughs> And, um, you know, what that is, is a... Now, when I first started doing that, it, it, you know, it didn't naturally come that easily. So what I would do is just sit there, and, and this, is, this is so important, uh, is the way that you practice. I see people, I see, you know, kids practicing, and really the way that they practice sometimes isn't going to give them the best results, because if you practice bad habits, you know, you're going to sound like you have bad habits. And um, so what I recommend you doing is that, that musical meditation is really focusing on something until it, sounds, until it sounds great to you, you know, until it sounds exactly what you're hoping for. And the way that you get it to sound that way is you imagine it sounding that way because you can't work towards something that you don't know what the end result is. What you're looking for is every note has to have its own zip code. It has to have its own life. It has to be its own personality. And, I, and if you just sit and make that an exercise and do that until it sounds great, and if your fingers don't fall off because it gets to be difficult, um, Every time you do it, it'll become easier. That's one of the greatest gifts about playing the guitar, is whenever you work on something, it gets easier when you go to do it next time. With this particular exercise, you'll get real good at it fast. And what I would recommend is not necessarily just learning how to play jaboom the way I play it, but taking that concept and making your own piece. So if you have that naked track of jaboom, create your own melody around that track, maybe using some kind of pull-offs. But if I was going to sit, and I do, and work on something like that, I would expand upon it. With this pull-off technique, you know, it's very, uh, you know, there's, a, there's, there's some, you know, there's a little bit of math behind it in that it's, you have to pull off the note and then pull off the next, and you have to hammer the next note so that all the levels are good. You And you do it on every string because it's difficult on the different strings. And you want this rolling action. Naturally, you may not be doing it that fast and clean in the beginning, but that's what you're looking for. And you, the way you do it is you just, just put a clock on and go for like 30 minutes just doing one string and try different things. See, if you, if you meditate on it and you force yourself to stick to one idea, you're going to get you're going to find yourself going in directions that you've never gone, and that's how you develop your own unique style. Oh, I love it when he just goes for it, you know? Thank <laughs> you.